I've never missed a good mulligan in my life. Let's go. We got all the good cards. The secret man, and we got the familiar man. We're good to go. Play this, we always get the good card. I don't think I've lost a single Joust for Pocket Galaxy today. At all. And we still do have coin to test for counter spells, so we're just gonna get spot automatically. So we do the good stuff. We do the, I mean, we have like the Piper. We have like a lot of big cards, which kind of sucks. It's not the best look in the world. Uh, good game, dude, good game. I mean, sometimes it just happens, you know? I don't know, I think you got pretty unlucky with like the Cataclysm and um, Kazakis mill. Makes it like a lot harder to win. Um, so it's one mana Luna that's pretty good, so we have, like, set up for that eventually. Should play the Piper here so we can draw. I don't really want to play the Cold Lights, I think we're just going to pass. It would be, like, okay, because we would burn, um... Burn one? Yeah, we would burn one from him. Okay, so it's this deck. It's nice that we're popping off already. He's going to do, like, a Cyclone turn, though. It's pretty big that we have a Breaker for, like, the Wanker, so we can only have one turn with the Wanker, but... I'm gonna say we probably still lose this deck. Even like with, maybe not with this art, but on average I'd say we do. I hate this deck. It's actually like kind of cool to play though, but it's like super unfun to play against. It's one of those. Full hand, cool. Guess I'm just gonna play that. I mean, I could have done this now and it would have been fine, but like, it's kind of just whatever. I really needed these to be like one mana cards. Sawgoth is just like the nuts in this matchup. Polymorph's pretty annoying. Like, this is just what gets me the created by tag. It's like. Fuck. I'm probably just playing this as a 5 7 here. Just because I need to do stuff to win. It's fine. It's a fairly large chain of big minions, I like it. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, I get a Lich King for next turn too, cool. So it's like kind of ideal for us right now. We just need to like do stuff and this is stuff that we can do. Just to pressure him a little bit. You could have like random Novas and stuff though for sure. Out on me. 
engaging polymer core, not gonna lie. Okay, well he froze some stuff. I don't know if I really like the choices on the freezing, but that's fine. Uh, so I probably just want to trade this. And make a really intelligent play being played an 8-8 for one mana, and then just go face. And then, uh, yeah, your power is face. And then next turn he's gonna be like, well, I have an ice block, I am not dead. And then I'm gonna ping my Stargazer Luna to make room on the board, then play Eater of Secrets. I'm probably gonna think about what emote I wanna choose, choose the Greetings emote, and then hit him in the face for 11 damage and win the game. I think um, I've mapped out this game, and that's generally just what I wanna do here. Yeah. How do you guys feel about that? Good move, yes, no, maybe so. My hand is full. Okay, so I'm gonna guess he passes now. Yep. I play, I probably attack with the Lich King first, attack with this, then say greetings. Um, Probably play a Katoot Defender. Um, Death Coil my own Sylvanas. Oh, that heals Sylvanas though, so I actually don't win here. Okay. So this is extended BM because Death Coil actually heals friendly minions. It deals damage to enemy minions. So we, we really want to just play the game for another turn so we give him another shot at winning. That's kind of the move. Okay, it looks like he's done our job for us, which is nice. I like it. Well, you see, I could have pinged my 4-1, or I could have let him play Puzzle Box of Yogg-Saron. Now, I personally prefer letting him play Puzzle Box of Yogg-Saron. I don't know about you guys, but I like this play a little bit more. It's up to the individual, right? Whichever play you enjoy more, you can do. For me, I enjoy the one where I make him play Puzzle Box of Yogg-Saron. And, um... Oh, hey! Luna's Pocket Galaxy! Let's play that one, yeah. I like that one. It's a good move. Okay, so now we play the Raven Familiar. We get to see what spells he has in his deck. Probably like a bolster. Yeah, a bolster. Okay, so he's playing this deck. Pretty dope, I dig it. Okay. Uh, so I guess we let him draw two. It's kind of fine with me. Sort of just whatever. It's not like great, but it's whatever. I don't really even know if I want to play the Breaker. I probably should just for tempo, but it's kind of just like... Whatever, right? I'd almost rather just have it for like a bigger taunt later on, but... I also just like don't really want to fall that far behind, because like I think the easiest way to lose this game is to fall behind. Because we're already going to be pretty far behind when we play like nothing on turn 5, right? She for dinner? Biscuits and gravy, obviously. What else did you eat? Think about it, there's like two ways you could, you could have dinner, right? You could have dinner with biscuits and gravy, or you could have dinner without biscuits and gravy. And I think with biscuits and gravy just makes more sense. I don't know, I'm not an expert on uh, American cuisine, but it might be the move. So we do burn one card for it if we do this, so I think it's probably the move here. We get two big cards and we play the two big cards. Uh, card suit's really good and curator's really good. I think we're gonna go curator first. Play whichever dragon we get, which is actually just Ysera, right? Because we actually have Caligos in hand already. Play Ysera, then play Card Suit. And then I think we pass. Okay. 
So our Tots are a little bit bigger than his, which I think is um, generally a pretty good strategy to have. To have bigger Tots than them. Any insight on why your neighbor is using fireworks at 6 p.m. on a Friday near no holiday? Um, so your neighbor probably got off work early today. Like we're talking like 1 or 2 p.m., right? The guy gets home. What does he do instantly? Okay. He puts the fucking old episode of The Simpsons on. I'm talking like season 13, episode 8. Reclines his fucking couch, okay? Kicks back the weekend started, cranks his uh, his first Bud Light of the day, okay? Doesn't drink regular Budweiser, only Bud Light because he uh, Bud Light because he cares about his calorie intake, right? Okay, so he's done number one. Fifteen minutes later, cranks back the second one. Episode of The Simpsons is almost over. Rinses and repeats that until he's almost finished season thirteen of The Simpsons, okay? Six p.m. now. Your neighbor's ship base. He's almost done his twelve pack of brews. What's the next move? I remember last Halloween, I had some fireworks. What does he do with the fireworks left over from Halloween? Well, he fucking unleashes terror on the neighborhood. And um, that's exactly where you're at right now. Your neighborhood is being terrorized. Um, yep. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Sit back and enjoy the show, buddy. That is... Um, really all you can do, I'd say. Like, think about it. Do you have any other option? Oh, shit. He does run Brawl. Fuck. Um, you know what? I still stand by my play. We're fine. A hot dog with ketchup sounds good. That would be good. I'm actually fucking starving now. I'm really regretting not eating before I hit the go live button. It was not the move at all. But yeah, that's probably exactly what your neighbor's doing. It's the Bud Lights, man. They'll kill you. They won't actually kill you, but, you know. Okay, and then he, he just top decks the Brawl. Nice. He pulls arguably the best card in my hand out of my hand, and then he top decks the Brawl. Wow. And then he wins the Brawl. Damn. <sighs> Hearthstone. Hearthstone, Hearthstone, Hearthstone. Man, this game is cool sometimes. Um, fuck it. Give me some cards. There is absolutely no scenario where my opponent has a second brawl here. Um, cool. Where's my flute? Um, okay. So first of all, it's it's not a flute. Second of second of all, it's uh it's a recorder. Third of all, I already played it today and I got unlucky. So, it's it's bad luck. It's not a good luck recorder. It's a bad luck recorder now. Um, I can give you guys one little taste, okay? That's it. No more. So we dream this next turn, we hit him in the face, we play Sarah Awakens, we win. GG. Easiest game of my life. <sighs> okay, but he has two taunts now, which is kind of problematic. He also gets Sulfur, which is not that great. We poly the first taunt. Oh, stop discovering taunts. So if we dream in Awakens, we should be... Oh, fuck my life. Um, we have 13, right? 13 is definitely not lethal. Uh, so we would silence there. We would dream that. We would trade that. That is 7, 9, 9 plus 8 is 17? And then he's at 19. Um, I should win here, right? We dream. Then we splooge all over the board. Boom. Uh, we draw with the Piper. We ping our own face because that's what you do. You jam the Witch King and then Ragnaros comes in. Uh, throws a 70 yard touchdown to win you the game. Let's go. I'm going to say it. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Took 
drink some more water. Keep your head up, okay? You'll be fine. Get him next time. You can't win every game you play. You can try. But sometimes even shamans just end up having your number. When they have your number, sometimes they like to BM you. What can you do? It's just the way the game goes. Uh, Bone Wraith is pretty dope, actually. It's really nice. Like, the reason why you run it is because turn 5, you almost always want to run the pack of Galaxy. And, like, Bone Wraith is just a decent transitionary card away from that into, um, like, the turn 5 classic good old Pocket Galaxy. Yeah, this card. Or even Familiar is pretty good, huh? Kind of strong. I like him. He's good. Cogman. He doesn't have Mech Warper or uh, Galvanizer, so we're probably fine. Hey, Control, since you're streaming Hearthstone, I'll assume you never play TFT again. Why do you hate Hearthstone so much? Um, I don't know, dude. Some problems are just deeply internalized. They don't have simple answers. Big Tom Boy, Big Thicky, Bone Wraith, go. Okay, then we do this. Boom. Make the trade for him. It's kind of weird now because he has to do that or he has to go boom boom and then 4 3 into 2 1. Woo, woo, woo. That big dog just barks at anything, man. It's crazy. I'd flip my camera around and show you guys, when I have my window open, my neighbors have like this really funny setup. Um, they have like couches and chairs in their front lawn. And these guys just fucking like smoke hookah there all the time, it's hilarious. Oh! <sighs> Supposed to play that one? I think I just like definitely threw the game. Um, yeah, my neighbors have, like, a setup with, like, couches and, like, computer dust chairs outside. With, like, a like a hookah thing there, and they just, like, smoke hookah all the time in the front yard. And they, they left it out, and it was, like, pouring rain the other day. Kind of funny. I don't know, it's just, like, a weird sight to look at. So I need to draw like a, I mean it doesn't really matter what one cost unit we get, right? It just has to be like, we always get anything that's not like Ysera, so we're fine. You always have one cost units here. Curator seems really good. Cartoon seems really good. Um, Curator's good because of Caligos, right? If we get that, it's really big. Ysera was obviously the low roll. Um, but like Nova, stuff like that is really good here. Shooting Star better than Meteor here. Should start not Meteor to get rid of that big thing's better. So you do that Meteor here, I guess. Delicious. Fogma. Yeah, we do that, and then we just play Cartseed. Okay, I think we still get there. Um, obviously bad that I delayed it by one turn with the misclick, but... I mean, Eater's Secrets on turn 6, just the best play in the entire world. Mom told them to go outside? Nah, I think they're adults. <laughs> They just post it up in the front yard chilling, man. It's kind of cool, I dig it. It's like summer, it's just like funny to look at all day. 